If you told me two months ago a product from Belkin is going to make a top five list, I wouldn't have believed you. But here we are. And when it comes to battery banks, I buy a ton of them, then I bully them by draining them at every speed imaginable, and then I recharge them like a maniac and hope that nothing burns up in the process. This is a 20k milliamp hour battery bank, uh, or 71 watt hours. Usually it's 72, but Belkin decided to state 71. This thing has two USB-C ports and one USB-A port. The max output is 65 watts. It's not the highest in my test group, but unlike some of the other products, both ports put out 65 watts. It has the following charge rates. And has two PPS ranges, which is going to be great for non-Apple devices as well as larger devices. There is a smart counter at the top. It takes a second to boot up, which is kind of annoying, but it will tell you the uh, capacity, what's left, as well as what's coming out of the battery bank or what's going in. And when it comes to voltage performance, it was a way above average in terms of accuracy and stability for both PDOs as well as PPSs. With my full discharge testing at 65 watts, I pulled over 53 watt hours on this pack. That's pretty impressive. The efficiency ratio is one of the reasons why this product score so high. Now there is a slight red flag when it comes to recharging. The max input is only 45 watts. In my recharge testing, I only saw up to 20 watts, which means this thing took over almost four hours to recharge. So that's a bit of a red flag from my perspective. When it came to thermals, this product was a little hotter during the discharge testing. It was a little cooler during the recharge testing, which makes sense given that it charged so slowly. This product weighs 380 grams and because of how efficiently it charges, it's actually quite energy dense. This product has a matte finish to it, so fingerprints won't be as noticeable as the soft rubber ones, though it will slide around pretty easily. Here's another downside of the product. At $90, this is one of the more expensive 20K battery banks that I've tested. Now, would I get this product if I wasn't a reviewer? Yeah, I would. Sure, the max power is a bit low for this product, but as long as you're not trying to charge a massive laptop, this is gonna last you a couple of years, at least. Again, it's the accuracy and stability of the power that comes out of this battery pack that is just most impressive to me. I'm on a mission to figure out what the best battery banks are. If you're planning on getting this product, make sure you use my links. I'm a reviewer, not an influencer. Do not care which brand you get. I just care that you uh, use my links because I've helped you find the best accessories for your tech. Thanks for watching.